April Ho and today I am going to be sharing with you my lazy day workout. I call it my lazy day workout not because you're not going to be working hard during this workout, but this is what I do when I want to be strength training but I also want to be sitting down and watching TV at the same time. So it's a very simple workout but it's going to hit upper body, core, and lower body. So we're working out the full body and all you need is a resistance band and a chair. So let's get started. The first exercise that we're gonna do is for the shoulders. So you're gonna come to the edge of your chair, stand on the middle of your resistance band, bring your shoulders down and back, nice and loose, and then you're just gonna lift your arms up until they are parallel to the floor out in front of you, all the while keeping the shoulder blades down and back away from your ears. You're just gonna do that repeatedly for 45 seconds and then take a 15 second rest before the next exercise. So you'll do a slight pause at the top and then lower down nice and controlled. Very simple exercise. So after that, you are going to move into an exercise for the legs. And this is gonna specifically work our abductors or the muscles that bring our legs out and away from our midline. So for this exercise, you're gonna take your band and you're gonna wrap it around your knees with the band in front of your knees, not on top or it's gonna ride up. So you're gonna put them in front of your knees, again, sitting on the edge of your chair, chest tall, shoulders down, and then you're gonna step out, out, in, in. And you can alternate which leg you start with. But it's as simple as that. And again, you'll do that for 45 seconds with 15 seconds rest until the next exercise, which is for our chest. So for this one, we are going to place the band under our armpits. And this is gonna be a chest press or almost like a vertical push up. So you're just gonna grab the band with your elbows out wide so the tops of your arms are parallel to the floor. And then you're gonna push straight out in front of you and slowly release back to your starting position in which you should have about a 90 degree bend in your elbows. Just like that. We have two exercises left and I'm gonna turn my chair sideways so that you can see my form a little bit better. The first thing we're gonna do is for core and it's a seated Russian twist and you really don't need any equipment whatsoever. So as if I were a marionette, this is very important. If I had a string attached to my chest and it were pulling upward, I wanna keep that tall posture the whole time. And I'm gonna tilt back until, the, um, until my shoulder blades reach the chair behind me. So I'm not slumping into the chair. I'm keeping my back nice and straight. And you might choose to do only this but if you wanted to add in the twist, you would come back and then twist to each side. I like to pretend I'm holding a medicine ball. Of course, you could actually hold a medicine ball, um, but you can get plenty of core strength and oblique strength, um, even just with a fake medicine ball. So you twist to each side and then come back up. Tilt back, twist, twist, and then come back up. And our final exercise is going to be for the upper back or the rhomboids. For this one, we're gonna use the band again, and we're gonna wrap it around the balls of our feet. I'm putting my feet out in front of me so that my shins are about at a 45 degree angle to the floor. And then again, as if I'm a marionette and someone's pulling my chest upward and then pulling it forward, I'm gonna come forward with my chest and bring my arms out so they're also reaching at about a 45 degree angle out in front of me. I like this exercise because it's a great beginner exercise to kind of practice good posture and good form for a Romanian deadlift. So we're practicing hinging at the hips without letting the shoulders round or hunch. With that marionette, the string pulling kind of forward and up. We're just hinging at the hips and then we're going to squeeze our shoulder blades together and send our elbows back as if we were trying to elbow somebody behind us. And again, all these movements are slow. You'll squeeze at the top, slight pause, 
and then release nice and slow. So all of those exercises put together, if you do them for 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, will last about five minutes. You can stop there, or you could do the full circuit two or three times for a 10 or 15 minute full body workout. I hope you enjoy it. Bye.